Hey, it's the Board Game Blogger here in beautiful Fort Collins, Colorado at uh, Griffin Board Games. This time I'm set to review Guillotine. It's a great card game, uh, really action paced. There's a lot of strategy, a lot of uh, fighting, a lot of take down the leader. So it's, it's a fun, quick uh, card game. The theme around you're one of the, the people working the guillotine during the French Revolution and you're trying to collect the most heads of the most important and valuable nobles. You know, if, if you can kill off Louis the Sixteenth, well, you know, that's worth a ton of points. If you've got Marie Antoinette's head, hey, good for you. But if you just get some uh, lowly nobles not worth a lot, that's not good. You know, you weren't the best executioner that day. So it's kind of a fun, quirky theme. Um, I'm not sure some people might be offended by that theme, so if, if that's the case, probably not the right game for you. But it's uh, a lot of neat mechanics and whatnot. Uh, why don't we take a closer look at how it's played. Okay, so here is how a game would normally start set up. There's uh, 12 nobles in line on day one, and here's the guillotine. This is the noble closest to the guillotine, so if I just end my turn and do nothing, this is the noble I'd collect, and then Everything moves one forward, and the person who goes next, that would be their noble unless they play some sort of action card. Uh, the game is played over three days, so I've found it's kind of the fairest to play this game with just three players, so everyone can go first in one day. You know, if you play with four or five, it's still a lot of fun, but if you're very hyper-competitive, well then two people are not going to be able to go first on that day. So, I mean... I think, you know, it's, it's still a fun game, and I think it's, it plays better with four or five people sometimes, but if you're very hyper-competitive, then you really want to play this game with only three people, so that the person goes first on the different days. Each day, you refill it with 12 nobles. And you're going to be dealt, at the beginning of the game, these action cards. You get five action cards. Uh, at the end of each turn, you also draw a new action card, or more if you play an action card that gives you more. So for instance, uh, it's my turn, this is how it sets up. I could play milling in line, randomly rearrange the first five nobles. So here, what I want to play this. This noble's worth two, this is one, negative one, one and one. So I don't want to play this card, because I'm already standing at the best possible here. But if I had something else, if there was a different lineup with the nobles, then I'd want to do that. Some of the nobles have different abilities too. So you read on the noble's ability, and you can, you can see what happens there. And of course there's different cards. There's military support. Collect one for each red noble, which are all the nobles who are in the military. Double feature. You know, collect two nobles. So, you know, you want to set up. You can then see how many points each person has. You know, this is going on for a while. People are collecting different valuable nobles. And so you try and set up and, uh, you know, like mess over the, the people who are in the lead. So there's, there's not a runaway leader problem in this game because everyone's going to gang up on you and stuff. You know, can maybe discard the next noble in line and move a noble forward, right? So I could play this card. Let's say it's my turn right now. And I'm already getting the best noble with a two. Well, I still might want to play this card to move the martyr, which is a negative one because you're killing, you know, someone very noble, up one more. Noble in the, uh, you know, like uh, the fine and, and pure sense as opposed to nobility. It's a rather ironic. Um, move the martyr up, it's a negative one, so that when I collect this person, the martyr is next in line to try and hurt the next player if I think the next player is in lead. So, I mean, there's a lot of strategy going on. It's a quick game. It really should not suffer from analysis paralysis. Very quick, it's a quirky theme. It's a very fun card game. I know some people can't really get into card games, they actually need a board. Uh, if that's you, you might not like this game. I think this is a great, great game. If, if you like the theme, it's fun. I mean, it, it, it works. And it's a fun game, you know. You, you've got the different cards. There's a lot of strategy in it, too. You know, it's kind of easy to learn, hard to master sort of game. I, I'd recommend getting it. Guillotine.